Hey, what's up everybody? I am Mike and uh, you are watching Paddletail Adventures. I am preparing for another trip, a five day trip with my dog Isla. And a lot of people have been asking, what is in my backpack? What do I carry with me when I go out alone? So, so let me start with my sleep system. I have tried several things uh, in the summertime and this is my Thermarest uh, quilt. It's rated to minus six and uh, so far it is a dream. I can actually sleep with uh, my feet out when it's, I'm getting too warm or my feet back in. Uh, there's a little pocket here that will fit my Big Agnes uh, AXL insulated um, sleep air mattress. And that air mattress is a 25 by 72. So this 25 is the width and 72 is the length. And this fits perfectly. I, I love it. It's a great, great addition to my sleep system along with these two pillows. One goes, uh, I rest between my legs and one is for my head. And obviously the stuff sack. And I use this silk liner that will fit the air mattress so it's it's a lot com more comfortable thermo rest uh, z light goes underneath my entire sleep system for added uh, security and comfort so um, this is my 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 tent it's a marmot tungsten ultralight three person and it is one of my favorite tents it's about uh, three and a half pounds maybe three pounds um, three pounds at the max i guess these are so light uh, incredibly light. I think there's like a pound and a half of, uh, of carbon fiber. So I, I use the double blade when I go solo and um, I also bring along my badger paddle. And to tie these paddles together when I'm doing a portage I, I have these uh, Northwater uh, Velcro straps that go fit perfectly on the, on the thwarts of the canoe. I'm looking forward to trying this out. This is my MSR gravity water filtration system. I've been using this for two years now and uh, four liters of, of water and that are filtered within maybe 20 minutes max. I have an Agua Cannon uh, foldable collapsible uh, saw. The rope is going to go perfectly with that. Everybody needs TP. New um, dry sacks for me. So I'm gonna be putting uh, some clothes in here, food in this. This is not 100% waterproof, whereas this is. So we'll see how this works. Everybody needs a plate and a bowl. So this is solar chargeable. And this is my crushable crush light from Goal Zero. So you'll see it's just has three um, in detents for the, the lights. You can press and hold and it'll flicker like a candle too, which is pretty cool. There we go. And this is my Sherpa battery bank. Uh, it's wireless as well as you can put your USB-C type C and your USB-A in here to charge your phone your batteries and whatever else it's it's um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie it's it's heavy I'd say about almost a pound and a half but it's worth it I, I don't want my phone to ever be at a situation where it's 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 dead and I can't communicate through my, my Garmin in reach. And this is where I put all my gear, my electronics, my cables. So this will go in here as well. So what's in my PFD? Well, uh, I have uh, these attached to, the carabiners attached there for whatever reason. I, I want to attach something to it or to my, my, uh, packs I have uh, my fishing gear I always have my tackle here it's just I know where it's gonna be so I'm I'm gonna get some uh, plastic worms 
because I, I, I do find that they're so easy. They're one of my, my go-tos for catching bass. And uh, these are for some trout. A little Clio. Meps Fury. I've been using that since I was a kid. Uh, so that's what I have for my fishing tackle. Actually, one thing that I always do is I, I keep my my uh, headlight within my PFD because I know it's there, so there's nothing to, to worry about. So that's that. I keep bear bangers in here. God forbid I ever have to use them, but they're here just to, to give a little bit of a actually not a little bit quite a loud bang um, to scare the scare the bejesus out of the bear this is my Garmin inReach and uh, this is something I very I find very incredibly useful just a peace of mind if you're if you're in, in um, a situation where you, you need to get out of uh, out of the park quite fast to so see you're, you're hurt or you lost all your gear you flipped over your canoe and you're in deep trouble well this is always going to be on me it's attached to my pfd and um it uh it really helps to to ease uh, some peace of mind really for family and myself i'm never going to go without this again uh packing my my bug spray my bug lotion in my pack is is, is just not not to, a thing that i want to do ever again Especially on Portage, that's when you know this is literally right there on you. Uh, so that that is that. This is what I carry in my PFD. Board. I I do carry a fanny pack, and with my fanny pack, I can have my like my sport drink, Kool Aid for it, whatever lighter. Another knife. Here's my Victoria Knox knife. For cigars, rum to go with the cigars. Something I've, I haven't seen before, but this is uh, I bought this a couple days ago in Algonquin Outfitters. It's my Nalgene uh, uh, flask. It's, it's so light. It's it, and it fits, I believe, 12 ounces. No, 10 ounces, 300 mils. A lot of people forget. They think about it, but they don't take with them. Is they they tend to, tend to forget duct tape or some sort of tape that uh, will fill the holes in your airbag for instance so i read i did a lot more research on this and this is essentially what um, big agnes and and thermarest they use this product they don't call it tenacious tape but you buy this off the shelves that uh, your your local um, outfitters my first aid kit. So I got everything in here I need from steri strips to iodine to pads and, and whatnot. This is my yoke pad and my Northwater uh, baler with rope. I, got I have pretty well everything I need for my for my mess kit here. And um, there's no can't call that a mess kit without having the complete mess kit. So this is what I just got the other day. I love GSI products. Uh, I think this is fantastic. This is the, the GSI Pinnacle Base Camper. Good for two people. And it comes in anodized uh, aluminum and with Teflon coating. So it's super slick, super slippery. So uh, I, I've had zero issues using these in the past. Nothing sticks to it unless you're using too high of a flame. So this top part is the frying pan. Then there's two lids and two pots, one small, one large. So insulated cup. I am a huge fan of Jetboil and I've been using them for the last, say, eight years now. And uh, this is the, I believe the Mimo version. So it's kind of, it's not as tall, but it's still just as light. So I have the adapter that I can put frying pan on or so I got this aqua quest tarp so it's a 10 by 10 tarp and it has something ridiculous something like 32 tie down spots so I'm not gonna 
not take this. So this is coming for sure. The weather uh, forecast is showing for some rain and I don't want to be stuck under in, in my tent. So this is going to be something that's very useful. And I bought some rope as well. Not to forget this. This is my Catadyne Be Free. Didn't need the, the one liter. I think the, the, the 0.6 liter is fine. Uh, it's it's quite useful to, to scoop when you're paddling to just get some fresh water. Uh, this is um, a really quick dry, really it feels good actually, soft, uh, my towel for swimming. Yeah. For years I've been trying to figure out what to, to wear when I go when I go portaging and, uh, and canoeing and um, I'm okay with having wet feet as long as they can dry up fast. So I decided to to do the Keen sandals uh, for a couple of reasons. It allows me to, to walk on the portage uh, feeling that I'm not gonna slip because they're really rugged. Uh, good grip on these. So it allows me to to um, to walk in and out of, of wet portages and back into the canoe without so this is what's in my pack. Be sure to like and subscribe to Paddle Tail Adventures. My name is Mike. Thank you very much for watching my video. And until next time, be safe. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Um, welcome, guys. This is the Eureka El Capitan 3. It's a three person. Uh, uh, this is my Eureka. So this is my footprint for my tent. Solo trip, a canoe with my dog, Isla. And, and this is what you see is what goes into that bag to feel that I'm, I'm uh, getting soaked.